Midland. In the pleasant fall weather of 1912, the Colorado Midland Railway Band entertained on the summit. However, our time on the summit is over, and we must begin our return. summit. A four-foot November snow ended work above Timberline. Pay was 18 cents an hour for grueling high-altitude labor without animals or machinery. Track laying started at the bottom in June 1890 and was completed by October 20th. The first passenger train reached the summit on June 30th, 1891. Snow is a continuing battle for the railroad. Snow can fall any time of the year on Pikes Peak, but clearing the track in the spring is most difficult. From the earliest days, snow was removed by pushing a flat car plow into the drifts. The plow is backed away and men shovel the snow off the car, a grueling job at these high altitudes. By 1973, snow removal still had not changed much. A diesel locomotive now pushed the flat car plow into the snow and backed away with tons of white powder, while men still suffered the task of shoveling that snow off. A hydraulic lift was added to dump snow off the flat car. The railroad built a rotary snow plow in 1952. The machine was not completely successful and the old plowing method remained. No matter what the plow, very deep snow must be blasted down to a height within the plow's capacity. Explosives are tamped into a snow hole and detonated. By 1974, a new rotary plow built by American Snowblast had finally retired the flat car. resembles and works like a giant snowblower. Yet hand shovelers must still clear away ice frozen to the track. must be lubricated. In early years, an employee applied lubricant to each tooth with a brush. The lubricant hardened every few hundred yards and a fire was built to soften it. It took a month to traverse the railroad. Now, automatic lubricators are on the trains. 